Next tonight, the widow of an ambulance driver who was one of the first in the country to die from coronavirus has accused the former health secretary, Matt Hancock, of passing the buck as he gave evidence to the COVID-19 inquiry today. Judy Goodwin, who's from Mansfield, says she still has many unanswered questions after watching Mr Hancock take the witness stand in London. For his part, Mr Hancock denied claims that he lied to colleagues during the pandemic. Well, our political correspondent, Charon Preet Kera, has been watching and joins us now from Westminster. Charon Preet, how did Matt Hancock defend himself today? Well, Ian, he managed to admit that there were certain elements in the government's response to COVID that should have been different, while simultaneously refusing to shoulder the blame for any of that himself. He came across as quite bullish today, defending his own actions and those of his department and suggesting that the real fault lay with central government. What there was, was a great deal of hard work on our side and a toxic culture that we had to work with, which seemed to want to find people to, uh, to blame rather than uh, spend all of their effort solving the problems. From the middle of January, uh, we were trying to effectively raise the alarm. Um, we were trying to wake up Whitehall to the scale of the problem. Well, he claimed his wake-up call wasn't taken seriously. You heard mention there of this toxic culture and blame game. He partly put that down to Dominic's, Dominic Cummings, Boris Johnson's chief of staff at the time, who he described as a malign actor. And Sharon Breed, how have Mr Hancock's words been received? Well, there's certainly been a bit of he said, she said, with Dominic Cummings saying on social media that Hancock was flat out lying during his evidence today. But what's bigger than the, that tit for tat is the response of those who lost loved ones, like Julie Goodwin, whose husband Charlie was one of the first to die from the pandemic in April 2020. Today, Julie told us how her husband left this house and we never saw him again. Now, she wasn't allowed to see her husband when he was dying in hospital and ultimately he died without his family around there's him. There's a lot like me. Not, I know I lost somebody on front line, but there's a lot like me. There's thousands that will be following that COVID inquiry, hoping for answers. Not in tr Matt Hancock trying to wiggle out of it to save his reputation and making himself out to be a saint because we know he isn't. He's got that book, he went in the jungle. I think he's just cashing in on his fatal failures. Well, Matt Hancock did say today that he was profoundly sorry for the flaws in the UK government's pandemic preparing that led to deaths. But there are some, like Julie, who'll be looking back to how his career as health secretary ended with that affair that broke social distancing guidelines and feeling that that simply isn't good enough. Next week, it's Boris Johnson's turn to give evidence, to tell the inquiry his version of events. That will start from next Wednesday and is expected to go on through to Thursday. Yes, that'll certainly be interesting. Chairman Precara at Westminster, thank you.